review brought to you by Shisha Royalty. Okay, today's flavor that we, we will be reviewing is uh, Fumari's Blackberry. And first impressions, uh, it's kind of a smaller cut than a normal Fumari. You can't really see it from there, but there's a plane. So like I said, the cut uh, is actually a little bit smaller than normal. Uh, it is a red color. You, can, you might be able to see it from there. Um, and uh, it smells fairly good. It smells kind of fruity. I'm not exactly sure what a blackberry smells like. I've never smelled one. I've tasted them. They taste pretty good. Um, when I think blackberry, I think of them shitty cell phones. But uh, it smells like fruity soap. Yeah, like exactly like fruity soap. It does have Holy a soapy shit. smell. <laughs> Does it taste? It tastes all right. I wouldn't say it's the best. But, um, it's got a really good, like, as you're exhaling, it tastes really good, and then the aftertaste tastes like straight Dawn soap. Yep. Like you're eating soap. It's not the best. It's definitely, uh, the biggest disappointment I've ever had, as in Fumari flavors. Yeah. Um, like you said, it does have a soap taste to it, generally. But, like, a, it's kind of like a floral kind of aftertaste. Not exactly like any of the rose flavors or anything, but it is kind of, like, herby. I don't know how to put it. It's definitely not the worst shisha I've smoked. Yeah, but it's not the best by all means. Yeah, no. I mean, I could smoke it. Like, n no problem. It wouldn't be, like, my choice. Like, oh, what should we get? Blackberry. No. But, like, if someone's like, dude, all I got is Blackberry, I'd be like, all right, that works. Like, it's cool. I mean, it's still Fumari. It still rips really good. It's still smooth. It's not, like, terrible going down. Like, there's some shisha you can't even hit, like, when it's good. It's yeah. like, it's so bad. It's, this isn't that bad. Like, yeah, it's fairly good. Out of ten, I give it like a four or a five. I give it a three because three. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty low, but I'm really disappointed in Fumari in this flavor. Like it doesn't really taste like I would never buy it again. I would not smoke it, but I wouldn't buy it. So I mean, overall, decent clouds. We're only using two coals on a flip bowl, which is not really enough. Yeah. Um, this is new too. This is our, my sweet new dragon flip ball. I thought it was kind of cool. Gotta try it. And uh, might as well I'll talk about flip ball. Yeah, we'll do a double review. Well, so on the flip ball. On the flip ball. The flip ball. They make a way bigger deal about it than it really is. Like everyone's like, oh, the cold never touched. Blah blah blah. Like, other than it looking badass, there really is no other point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in case you don't really know what a flip bowl is, it's literally a bowl that's upside down. Yeah. Uh, the sheesh is packed in the top part right here, and the coals are down here in this little bit right here. So, I mean, you, you twist, twist it, it, and then, yeah, you can move it around, you know, move the heat away if it gets too hot, you know? I mean, yeah, it's all right. It's basically like, like having an adjustable heat cover all the time. Yeah. But, note this, don't ever, ever Go all the way up and make the metal touch the bowl. Don't Unless you're just starting. Do not do it. I did it and it was the worst hit I've ever had in my entire life. Don't ever do it. It's awful. And we smoke hookah all the time and I cough for like a minute. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I don't ever cough, ever. Yeah. Never. Yeah, but uh, overall flip bowl, yeah, we'll get a, like a seven out of 10 for ingenuity. Give an eight out of 10 for looks. This thing looks badass. Like. Bro, I don't know if you if you can see all the smoke just coming out of the top. Like it looks really cool because it's a dragon on the top. Like this is a dragon head. Yeah, and it's wait, it's like bubble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't see it from there, but uh, uh sometimes the shisha juice does leak down and right now it's uh, doing this weird little bubbly thing. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I kinda like it. <laughs> I wish I mean I might I could probably bring the camera over here so you guys can see it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring it over here so you can see this. Yeah, this we'll take a closer look at the flip bowl in one moment. Okay, so like we were saying earlier, um, this is the top part with the foil, and this is the bottom part with the coals in it. And you can move this, twist this, and move it all around. And as you might be able to see, I don't know if you can see that, but I think it would see the point in buying any other one. Like, uh, I'm pretty content with my vortex bowls. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it works just as it says. Uh, it's sturdy doesn't have really any problems with it. It fits. Not much more I can say about it. So I give it a 7 out of 10. And Jeff being our cameraman, what do you give? I give it, like I said, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Because as you can see, 
I mean, the look of this thing is yeah, like pretty sick. Right yeah. And it matches my hookah perfectly. And look at all the smoke like coming out the top. Like that is pretty badass. Oh wait, we got dripper. Now as you can see here we go, we got drips. Yeah, it's kinda it's kinda weird. It's kinda different. Um I really I mean the duration doesn't really make it much last like last any longer from what I've noticed. Um it's alright. But anyways, uh, I don't know why it smokes so damn much, but it does. It always does, and it doesn't hit like like harsh or anything. So, I mean, overall, like I said, seven out of ten. Jeff gave it an eight out of ten, and back to the BlackBerry, which I gave a three, and Jeff gave a four, four or five. Um, and this has been another review brought to you by Shisha Royalty. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Can you tell from the Get out of